Okay, uh, today we're going to go through several of the uh, Android Cordova plugin. Um, then uh, uh, there are some of the documents you should have a look at. Let's just search this one Cordova uh, plugin APIs. Okay, Cordova plugins API. Then go, and this one is pretty uh, good. Let's just, just click on this. Okay. Then we're gonna have the plugin APIs, okay. Um, the looks might be a little bit different, but let's just see. Okay, let's just see. Um, we're gonna take the latest and okay. Um, what is this? Uh, to view latest, do go here, okay. Yep, okay, we're going to have documentations over here and we're going to have plug in somewhere. Let's just see iOS, Android platforms. Okay, plug in API. This is the one that I was looking for. Okay, and there are many um, 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 API that we're gonna go through one by one. And let's just uh, go from the simplest one, uh, also important one first. And let's just go with dialogues. Okay, now I'm I'm gonna go through each one of them in coming videos. Okay, then um, um, just just for convenience, we do, to use this um, 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 plug in. You don't need to, but just for convenience. And normally, when we work with Cordova, we normally work with jQuery Mobile. So um, for convenience, I'm gonna add jQuery Mobile as well. So you can just go search jQuery Mobile. Okay. So, um, tutorial, tutorial, let's just say, yep, okay, and um, have a look at this one, and we're gonna go look at getting started. What I need to is to use some of the link from uh, Content Delivery Network. If you would like to learn about jQuery Mobile, uh, watch my previous uh, videos. So I need this link, this link for enabling jQuery Mobile, so I'm gonna work with jQuery Mobile. So now we're going to uh, start with the foos, um, with the foos, um, um, with the foos uh, plugin. That one is dialog. Create a new project next. So um, we'll name it Cordova plugin. Um, dialog plugin. Cordova dialog plugin dialogs. Okay. So we're going to click on uh, finish. Okay. So it needs a little bit for it to load. Okay, take a look. To okay. okay. Let's just close the this. Now uh, we're going to uh, have a look at our project in WD Photos, and I'm going to uh, we're going to have a look at the documents. So from the documents dialogues. Okay, from document dialogues, you can see um, installations. In order to use this dialog, in order to use this dialog, you need to do the installations in order to ask for permissions and also use several of the dialog. So you have code of a plugin at code of a plugin dialogues over here. Okay, so this one is a command for you to um, add the plugin to the project. Without adding this plugin, um, um, you will not be able to run your uh, project. So I'm going to just go to IntelliJ okay go to IntelliJ then um, you're gonna have a look at so this one is you're gonna have a look at Terminal okay and we're going to run this one Cordova okay plug in okay add Cordova plug in dialogues this one is a command that we'll see over here the command see so code could have a plug in at could have a plug in dialog to enable us to use the alert the confirm the prompt and the div. Okay, so dialogues. Okay, enter. So wait for it to um, install. Okay, done. So now we're going to just uh, let's just clean this one up a little bit. Okay, this one is your HTML code. Okay, I'm going to disable. Um, on this okay and I'm enabling jQuery mobile 
in order to use jQuery mobile. So this one has several of the lines. Okay, copy this one and paste it to enable content delivery network for jQuery mobile. Okay, so I'm going to view this one as phone screen. Yep. So I'm gonna load code of our foos. Okay, load code of our foos. Okay, so put that one here. So we're going to try to do server thing. The first thing we, we, we will have to try is the alert. Okay, notification alert. So this alert is similar to um this alert is similar to JavaScript native JavaScript alert. However, the JavaScript however it won't get more option first. Okay, if you would like to customize the dialogue, let's say you would like to change the title, okay, and so on and so forth. So for the alert, you can look the uh, at the documentation. It's gonna be something like this. Okay, when you do the alert, you will be able to provide a message. Then alert come back. I mean, when when they click on OK, you can do something. The title on the title bar and the button name, which uh, could be OK or or any other um any other um, um functions. Okay, any other functions. So let's just just go with it. So we're gonna create a set of Table, uh, sorry, set up column um, button. So you want to say a uh, class equal to UI button. This one is jQuery mobile. Then um, uh, we'll say uh, click to um, show alert. Okay, click to show alert. Then this one will say um, on click. Okay, on click we're gonna say show alert. Okay, show alert. Okay, uh, just on the key should be show alert. Okay. Okay, show alert. Then um, from our index, where is that index? It's from index.js. Okay, we're going to define the function show alert to show our custom alert there. Okay, I'm using the um, phone get code of a plugin. Uh, code of our plugin so we go to javascript in our index i'm gonna delete all the content and right now define the function show okay function show alert and for that function show alert we're going to um, use notifications okay this one is the one from our document it's going to show a navigator not notification alert okay so you can provide a message i'll come back title and button name so um, um, navigator notifications alert and you're gonna be able to provide the uh, message after the message you won't be able to provide the combat after the combat you'll be able to provide the uh, title after the title you may be able to provide the uh, button name so you can see you can see that you may only provide the message okay Okay, um, then the um, combat, maybe no, uh, the title is optional, okay, the font is alert, and the button name is also optional, the font is okay, it's also optional, this one, the font is okay, but then uh, its power is to specify all of them, so we want to test with all of them, so this one is, I want to specify this is an alert, alert, Okay, the combat this time we don't do anything, or maybe um, um, define them, or maybe uh, maybe I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna set let's say show uh, JavaScript alert. Okay, so we will try this to compare the difference between the two alert. The title is um, this. Sorry, the title is a string. This is Cordova um, um, alert. Okay, then the button is we're gonna specify button is done. Okay, done. Yeah, and now we'll specify another functions, and that function is show JavaScript alert there to compare. And JavaScript alert is you can just use the normal JavaScript alert, and you have the ability to only specify the only specify the um, a message. So this is normal JavaScript alert. Okay, so now you can run this one. Okay, 
so now you can run this one okay you can run this one and and, and see the difference between uh, javascript elite and um, 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 Kodovar plugin elite okay Kodovar plugin elite Okay, the well, website is here. So this one is the uh, click to show alerts. Okay, so if you click on this one, oh, I do have some arrows. Let me just see what are the arrows there. So uh, missing the uh, close parentheses after the least. Okay, let's just see what is that one. Okay, show alerts done. Um, Message. Oh, this one is missing a comma over there. Okay, this one is missing a comma over there. Let's, let's see. Okay, we'll go to this one. So I just miss a comma over here. Let's just check it quickly. Okay, let's just restart this one. Stop and rerun. Okay. Wait for it. Okay. So this one is uh, no, uh, is the one. C click on show alert. So um, this one, this is an alert. Okay, look. Say so this one is an alert. Click on OK. So this one is uh, look at who's um, um, eighty says this is normal alert. So you don't see the difference between the two. Okay, if you use the web browser, you see. So this one, this is an alert, and click on OK is show another one. This is on the normal alert, and you don't see the difference between the two. So um, because we are running with browser, so we need to run it with um, Android or or um, 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 iOS to see the difference. So let's, let's see. Um, we're going to click on this, click on this, and I'm going to click on. We're going to run it with Android. Okay. Apply. Okay. Then we're going to rerun it. Don't show it again. Okay. Wait for it. Okay. Wait for the um, Android simulator to start. Okay. It's about to come. Okay. So. A little bit slow, so yeah, this is the one. Okay, a little bit slow now. So, if you click on show alert, okay, you can see the difference. We can uh, set a title. This one is a title, this one is a message, and this one is the uh, um, um, text of the OK button that we can set. You can change this text, okay? This is this text that. Okay, you can check it. So let's just click on OK and you can see the normal JavaScript alert. This one is a normal JavaScript alert. Okay, this one is alert, this one is a text. And the custom button is OK. See, so that one is the difference. Okay, and that one is the um, alert there. Okay, in coming videos, we're going to try the um, other ones. Okay, coming videos, we're going to try other ones.